chronic pain affects more than just your body. It can influence every aspect of your life, from your mindset to your relationships and daily experiences. By the end of this video, you'll discover seven research-based strategies to help you emotionally cope with chronic pain and feel more empowered on your journey. So let's get started. Relaxation techniques can significantly reduce stress, which can exacerbate pain. One of my favorites is listening to calming music. Try setting aside a few minutes each day to just sit, listen, and let the melodies wash over you. Another fantastic technique is progressive muscle relaxation. This involves tensing and then slowly releasing each muscle group in your body. Start from your toes and work your way up to your head, breathing deeply throughout the process. Guided imagery is another powerful tool. Picture yourself in a serene environment, a beach, a forest, or even just your favorite cozy spot at home. Visualize every detail from the sounds to the scents and immerse yourself fully in this peaceful scene. So give these techniques a try and see which ones resonate with you. Connecting with people who understand your journey is crucial. Speaking with a mental health professional can provide you with personalized strategies and a safe space to express your feelings. Support groups are another excellent resource. Whether in person or online, these groups offer a community of individuals who truly understand what you're going through. Sharing your experiences and hearing others' stories can validate your feelings and provide a sense of belonging. Online forms can also be a great place to find support. Platforms like Reddit or specialized chronic pain websites host communities where you can ask questions, share advice, and connect with others at any time. Family and friends can be a vital support network as well. Open communication about your needs and limitations can strengthen these relationships and reduce feelings of isolation. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. You don't have to do this alone. Acceptance doesn't mean giving up. It means acknowledging your pain without letting it control you. This mindset shift can reduce frustration and bring peace. Recognize your pain as part of your life, but not the entirety of it. Mindfulness involves being present in the moment, observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment. Observe your pain with curiosity, not frustration. This can help you detach from the pain and reduce its emotional impact. Distraction can break the pain stress cycle. When you immerse yourself in an activity you enjoy, it can shift your focus away from the pain. Hobbies are a fantastic way to do this, whether it's painting, knitting, gardening, or playing a musical instrument, engaging in a creative activity can provide a mental escape and a sense of accomplishment. Watching movies or TV shows is another great way to distract yourself. Choose something that makes you laugh or captivates your interest. Gentle physical activities like going for a walk can also serve as a distraction. Being outdoors and getting some fresh air can lift your mood and provide a change of scenery. Reading a good book or listening to an audiobook can transport you to another world, providing a mental break from your pain. Find what works for you and make it a regular part of your routine. On days when you feel better, it's tempting to overdo it, but pacing is essential. Balancing activity with rest can help manage energy levels and reduce pain spikes. Start by planning your day with realistic goals. Break tasks into smaller, manageable chunks and take breaks in between. Listening to your body is crucial. Pay attention to your energy levels and pain signals. If you start to feel tired or your pain increases, take a break. Using tools like planners or apps can help you track your activities and rest periods. This can provide a visual representation of your day and help you stay on track with pacing. By pacing yourself, you can reduce the risk of overexertion and manage your pain more effectively. Your mindset can shape your experience of pain. Practicing positive thinking can make a significant difference in how you cope with chronic pain. It's about replacing negative thoughts with supportive self-talk and focusing on the positives in your life. 
Start by identifying negative thoughts that often cross your mind. Once you're aware of these thoughts, challenge them. Ask yourself if they're really true and look for evidence to the contrary. Replace negative thoughts with positive affirmations. Gratitude can also play a significant role in positive thinking. Take a few minutes each day to reflect on what you're grateful for. Positive thinking isn't about ignoring the challenges, but about finding hope and strength within them. Gentle exercises like walking, yoga, or swimming can release endorphins and lift your mood. Exercise is a powerful tool in managing chronic pain, but it's important to choose activities that feel good and fit your comfort level. Walking is a great way to stay active without putting too much strain on your body. Start with short, gentle walks and gradually increase the distance as you feel comfortable. Yoga is another excellent option. It combines gentle stretching with mindfulness, helping to improve flexibility and reduce stress. Swimming or water aerobics can be particularly beneficial. The buoyancy of the water supports your body and reduces the impact on your joints, making it easier to move without pain. Remember the goal of exercise is not to push yourself to the limit, but to find a balance that allows you to stay active without exacerbating your pain. So find what works for you and make it a regular part of your day. Managing chronic pain is an ongoing journey, but these strategies can help you feel more empowered and supported. If you found these tips helpful, subscribe to Wellness Lori for more wellness advice. Take care and see you in the next one.